All right, today we are talking about the Advanced IPM Customer Portal for Commercial Pest Control. Now, logging into the portal is actually really easy. You get a login link for your customer portal with every email that you get from Advanced IPM, whether it's your service report or an invoice, really anything. But you can also find the account login right here on our website. So go to advancedipm.com and you just click this account login link here at the upper right hand corner and it will take you directly to your customer portal. All right, now that we are here in our customer portal, we can see here at the very top of the page, if you do have multiple locations, you can click on this location link here and that can help you sort of toggle between the different locations that you have. So we'll start here with our first location and we can see at the top of the screen we have our general information. So the address, the account number, we can also see our technician, their name, their picture, their badge number. This is also where we can request service. So if we go ahead and click this right here, we can see that it comes up with a phone number, a clickable phone number, and an email. Either way, you can click and quickly contact the client support team to ask any questions or request any services that you need. It even has your account number handy here in the middle, so you can quickly, quickly let them know which account it is that you're talking about. Just below our technician, we should see our licenses for the primary technician as well as any backup technicians that might be at this account. On the right hand side, you should see uh, your billing setup. This should already be set up for you, but if you do have any changes to make, you can make them here. Or again, you can just go ahead and contact the client support team. On the right hand side, just below payment methods, you'll see invoices. Now what's really cool about the invoice section is you can view an individual invoice or you can click on the bundle PDFs button here and you can put any date range you'd like to bundle the PDFs into one report. So maybe you wanna look at say the last 90 days. You would just change the date ranges here and hit generate and you can get those bundled PDFs. All right, scrolling down the screen here, on the left hand side you can see all of your upcoming work orders. Uh, we can also see just below that uh, any previous service history. So if you did want to view some previous service reports, you have two different places you can look at them. So you can look at your summarized report here, which will kind of just be a summary of the findings. Or if you do have a lot of devices at your account, that detailed report just to the right of it will actually give you a very detailed report. So if we scroll down here, we can see every device listed as well as the device type. We can see here uh, what type of fightings, what type of rodents or pests, and the time that that was serviced as well. On the right hand side of the screen here, we see our documents section. Here you can see our company licensing, insurance, and any agreements that you have on file. Just below the documents section, you will see our materials and SDS labels. What's really great about this section is it's only going to show the materials that we have already applied at your location. So you're not gonna to have to scroll through a list of the hundreds of materials that we might have used, really just the ones that we're using at your active account. You can even click on the labels and view them, download them, share them as needed. Back here at the top of the screen, we're gonna go ahead and click on the icon to the left of locations that says dashboard. So here on the dashboard, it's really most beneficial for multi-location accounts. Basically, it is an overview of all of your locations linked to a single account in one place. So you can see everything at once. So you'll have some recent service history here at the top of the screen, and then a little bit further down, you're going to see any open conditions that you've had recently. What's really nice about this section is in addition to any descriptions um, that the technician left behind, you might also see a camera icon which indicates that they actually recently took an image of the condition and uploaded it to the portal. If you do see that camera icon, feel free to click on it and you can actually see the image that they took. And here is that image that the technician took and uploaded to the portal of that recent open condition. Just below that section, we will see any recent pest activity. And then here at the very bottom, we will see the option to bundle PDFs. So just like we saw on the invoices on our previous screen, you can also bundle PDFs for service reports and invoices, but in this case, it would be for all locations on service. That is the Advanced IPM Customer Portal. Do feel free to reach out if you have any questions.